Organizations often struggle to fix societal problems that affect small groups of people as the smaller markets for these problems provide little economic incentive to develop solutions. But what if how an organization was arranged could help practitioners tackle societal challenges? By studying two nonprofit organizations treating rare diseases, researchers discovered that practices of organizational arrangements played key roles in the discovery of medical solutions, despite the lack of economic incentives to do so. In the case of developing medicines for rare diseases, practitioners face several barriers, both from loopholes in governmental policies and from the private pharmaceutical industry. But several nonprofits discovered that by positioning their organizations as patient first institutions and by repurposing already approved drugs for more common diseases, they could actually enhance treatments for rare diseases, sidestepping some of the complexities of innovating and getting approval for new drugs. The organizations also brought patients, doctors, and social entrepreneurs together, creating a sense of community and tapping its wide variety of intellectual resources to solve problems and catalyzed funding opportunities for people with drug repurposing ideas. As researchers understand how organizations successfully circumvent market and government failures to solve societal problems, they may help advance practice theory and research on the efficacy of alternative organizational arrangements. Wonder how organizations are solving rare yet important problems? If so, then you may want to read this paper.